vintage or retro style look to your uh, to your video. In this part we're going to be focusing more on creating some light leaks and film burns. Uh, we're going to try our best to create them from scratch with just simple solids and you know wiggle expressions inside of After Effects. Okay so now it's time to jump into After Effects and Premiere has a really cool feature where you can just create a composition in After Effects with uh, a certain layer that you have in, in your Premiere timeline. So what we're going to do is click on the footage we're going to right click that and hit replace with After Effects composition. And it's just going to ask you to name your uh, project in After Effects. So we're going to call this uh, Vintage Tutorial. Very original. And now we have our footage imported into uh, After Effects. All the changes that we are going to make. Uh, here are going to show up in Premiere. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a new solid. Uh, make comp size and the color. Let's just pick uh, it's like a bright orange, something like that. Click OK, click OK. And what we're going to create is a uh, ellipse mask. Create it this way. And feather this out quite a bit. What we're going to do is we're going to place this, so hit P and place this on the bottom here. And then we're going to duplicate this layer, rotate it 90 degrees, and we're going to position this just about here. Now, uh, what we're going to do here is create a simple wiggle expression. So what we're going to do is we're going to alt click the stopwatch and we're gonna type in wiggle and uh, let's try doing 100 comma 20 see what that gives us alright so let's try 10 and then let's try putting like 150 let's just go crazy okay so that's uh, that movement is looking decent enough let's just bring this a little bit closer feather this out even further Now you can see we have this uh, kind of edge color coming in and out. Um, now what we can do is just set this to add. And you can probably lower the opacity on it. Let's just put it to 60 so it's not as extreme. Uh, let's do the same thing with this uh, bottom solid here. So let's all click the stopwatch and wiggle. Uh, let's do, let's try 5 comma 200. Let's see what that gives us. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think. Um, let's scale this up. Okay, so maybe we don't want this to be quite close like that. So let's push this back and scale this up. Let's feather this one out quite a bit. Okay, and also make sure that they're both set to add. Uh, this is just a quick method, and you can obviously change the color. Let's say you can go in this one and uh, make this one more of a purplish color. Something like that. Uh, okay. Bring this one to maybe 50 and bring this one to like 20. So you can just have a very subtle look to that. Now let's look at how to make something similar to this with optical flares. So I just showed you this way in case you didn't have optical flares. It is a great plugin. I really recommend it. I mean really any uh, product from Video Copilot is, is just awesome. They, uh, they do a really great job. So all right, let's uh, create a new solid. It doesn't matter what color it is, I just want to, you know, differentiate it from, from these two other colors. So uh, we're just going to name this OF for optical flares. And we're going to go under Effect, Video Copilot, Optical Flares. All right. Um, 
we're going to click options. We want to change the look of this flare. And um, what I'm going to do is clear all. Yes. And uh, I want to create my own flare. Okay, you have an edge color flash, which is really cool, which pretty much when you when your flare goes on the edge, it creates this weird flash, which could also uh, be a film burn. You know, that, that looks uh, pretty close to what we're trying to do. So let's keep that in mind. And let's add a soft iris. Let's go under basic. And let's add this glow. Another thing that you can do, uh, if you select the main uh, parameter here, uh, you can go under lens texture and you can just add you know whatever texture you want just to add a little bit of detail to that uh, maybe let's uh, bring the brightness of it down just slightly okay and we're gonna change the color to something a little bit more warm and I think that's good this is all just uh, what looks right to you so you can really pick any color and make this uh, as crazy as you want it to be so alright we have our flare updated here and what we can do is um, set this to add and as you can see we can you know depending on how you move this we can create these uh, very interesting uh, flashes so there's a couple ways of doing this you can either set your flare uh, just around the edge here and you can set the flicker amount and uh, you know turn up the amount turn up the speed so I mean you can just play around with these settings until you find something that you like uh, you can make it not as extreme by pushing it away or closer or playing with the brightness and scale of the flare uh, so there's definitely a lot of ways to do this okay and by the way before we move on you can also animate the XY position of the flare uh, so you can have it come from back here to in and flash real quick and then go back out or you can have it come in and then bring the brightness you know higher. The trick here is just playing around with these uh, these settings especially the the brightness of it and you know just shifting around the position or changing the the flicker amount or even not having any uh, any flicker and just you know moving the flare around and, and playing with the brightness or even the scale of it so definitely have fun with that um, let me just show you one more technique that you can do to uh, create some interesting film burns and, and light leaks. Uh, so let me just uh, shut this off for now. Let's create a new solid. And uh, let's apply a ramp effect. Okay. Uh, you know, let's uh, stick to some warm colors. Um, typically, some some good ones are you know like just some some orange, any kind of any kind of orange really, or some um, kind of dark violets and reds. And let's make the bottom one like mm, like that, dark gray. If you set this to add, you can see we have a pretty interesting uh, gradient here. And again, the trick is to just animate some of these parameters. Okay, so what you can do here is uh, just stopwatch the start of ramp and just, you know, move or move backwards and move it away. So now we see it coming in and then you can just animate it going out in whichever direction you would like. Um, you can either push it all the way back or just kind of as it's coming in you can animate the opacity of the layer so from here on you can animate it fading out so it comes in really quick and uh, you can create a new keyframe and animate it going out So there you go. Um, you know, make sure it's set to add, and you know, if it's too intense, you can always um, lower the opacity of it, or even just change the color of it, and you can make it darker. Uh, the darker that it is, the less it will uh, show up because it's uh, it's currently set to add. So the brighter colors are the ones that that show up more in this uh, 
in this transfer mode. Again, you can use these techniques for, for really anything. You can even use it to uh, color grade some landscapes, you know, just uh, applying a ramp effect. So there's definitely a lot of uh, options that you can do with just uh, these very few uh, techniques. What I would like to do, since I know that not everybody has After Effects, is create a, a bunch of overlays of light leaks, of film burns, uh, you know, created by me in After Effects, and hopefully some created by, uh, you know, real world film cameras that actually do that. Uh, so it's definitely something that I want to develop uh, sometime soon. I just want to find a website that can host um, this package and where you guys can download it without any issues. So. Uh, I definitely want to do that for you, and I want to start releasing a lot of free stuff for you guys so that, you know, it can uh, help you create uh, some awesome looking um, videos. And again, if you go back to Premiere, everything will be updated. Uh, just give it a few seconds. There we go. Everything will uh, be updated. And a uh, couple quick things that I want to add to this uh, vintage effect is um, you can create a vignette. Uh, we already have one in Premiere, but um, I can show you how to create one in After Effects. So you can just double click the Ellipse tool. And if that doesn't show up, you can just click that. And you can go down to the Ellipse tool. Um, set it to subtract. Give it a feather of like 400 or you know whatever works for you. And what I usually do is I just uh, scale this up and then I can either set this to overlay you know it gives it a nice burnt out uh, look near the edges and you can control the intensity of it by decreasing or increasing the opacity of it and one quick last thing is um, I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to add a fast blur and blur this out quite a bit. Hit repeat edge pixels, this box right here, because as you can see, it's creating this weird black uh, border. So as soon as I click that, you can see that it disappears. Um, and we're gonna, again, click the ellipse tool. So I'll double click that, set it to subtract, and feather this out. It kind of creates a soft uh, border around the image which is uh, looks pretty interesting now if we go back to Premiere you can see that you know with all the changes and with the color correction and with the film grain that we previously added this is looking uh, pretty pretty good and um, again I haven't animated you know the, the lens flare or the uh, too much of the gradient uh, so that would look even better if I actually animated that but this is a pretty interesting look I think it's pretty close to what we were trying to do Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe for more tutorials. I'm going to be releasing a, uh, a VFX training series on how to create some of the visual effects from The Walking Dead. So if you like the show or if you're just interested in seeing how some of those effects are made, I'm going to try to imitate them as best as possible. So uh, I'm going to be releasing that in March, and I'm going to try to make a video tutorial on breaking down a specific effect from The Walking Dead every week for the entire month of March. Uh, so definitely be um, on the lookout for that. Subscribe in order to get notified when that happens and uh, I'll try to you know post as many more uh, tutorials in the meantime as possible. So alright, I always ramble at the end of every video. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, my name is Chris Trini for Chris Car Productions and I will see you next time.